If your patient codes three times in an hour, it may not just be your black cloud. It may be something called VTAC storm. Let's discuss VTAC storm and why electricity may not be the only fix in this scenario. We're in the ICU and your 62 year old male patient who just had a heart attack is getting his third electrical shock after going to VTAC over and over and over again. You see, every time you give him an electrical shock, he converts back to sinus, but it only lasts about 10 minutes and then boom, back into VTAC. So what are we missing? VTAC storm is going to be three or more episodes of sustained VTAC in 24 hours. But remember, it's not just an arrhythmia, it's this electrical fire that's being fed by the catecholamines in his body. Let's break that down. Your patient is a post-MI patient. This creates scar tissue and stuff, which leads the patient to go into VTAC. You being the amazing person that you are, shocks them out of it, day saved, right? Not exactly. That shock creates stress on that body. The body then dumps adrenaline and norepinephrine, which is your fight or flight response, right? The catecholamines released during the fight or flight response actually make the heart more electrically unstable. This then causes the heart to go back into VTAC, which just repeats the cycle over and over again. And the more times you shock them, the more likely they are to go back into the cycle. So how do we break the cycle? Well, typically it's done by sedating the patient and then giving the patient beta blockers. Another common thing is to make sure your electrolytes are optimized, keep them as perfect as you can get them, and then also put amiodarone on board as well. Question of the day, why do we give sedation and beta blockers? Let me know down below.